Hello and welcome back to Coco Sleep, a new podcast of original children's bedtime stories and meditations designed to make bedtime a dream. If you're enjoying falling asleep to Coco Sleep, please ask your adult to leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, as this will help other families find it too. In tonight's bedtime meditation, we meet a little puffer fish called Zen, who lives deep beneath the ocean waves. Zen loves meditating and always feels calm and relaxed afterwards. Let's join Zen in his meditation practice and then hear about his journey as he swims through the ocean and the animals he meets along the way. This is Zen the Puffer Fish by Gillian Rogerson. Settle down in your bed and close your eyes. If you need to, wriggle your fingers and toes. Give your arms and legs a little shake to get rid of any leftover energy from the day. Snuggle down a bit more and let a soft smile settle gently on your face. Imagine a ray of warm light gently flowing over you from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. The light feels warm and soothing and makes you relax even more. If any thoughts of the day drift into your mind, picture them as little feathers and gently blow them away. Let's take some deep breaths together. Take a big deep breath in and then slowly let it out. Again, a big breath in and slowly let it out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. It's time to meet our new friend, Zen, a little puffer fish who lives deep beneath the ocean waves with his friends and family. Zen is resting on the sandy ocean floor and his eyes are closed. A ray of sunlight shines down through the water and flows over the little fish making him feel warm and relaxed. Some thoughts from the day drift into his mind but just as quickly the thoughts float away like feathers on the wind. Zen is ready to start his meditation exercise. Let's join Zen as he begins. The little puffer fish takes a deep, relaxing breath in. He looks a little bit like a balloon as it fills up with air. Zen slowly breathes out. And again, he looks like a balloon, but this time when the air is slowly released. Let's think about our breathing again and take some more calming breaths just like the little puffer fish is doing. Take a deep breath in and then slowly let it out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Feel yourself relaxing more and more with every breath you take. Deep breath in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You are warm and cozy in your bed and so very relaxed. Zen is relaxed too and he always feels happy and peaceful after doing his meditation exercises. He opens his eyes and smiles. Zen is now ready to explore the ocean. He's looking forward to meeting some of his friends along the way. Off he swims, gliding slowly through the beautiful blue water of the vast ocean. 
There's no need for him to rush and he takes his time and smoothly swims along. Zen enjoys the feel of the warm water moving over him. He swishes his tail slowly from side to side and lets out a long, happy sigh. He looks at the ocean floor beneath him and sees pink and cream shells half hidden in the golden, glistening sand. Starfish are lying on the sand. Their arms and legs are stretched out and they're holding hands with each other. Some of them call out a hello to Zen. Snowy white jellyfish bob up and down gracefully as they move through the water. Bright red sea urchins nestle in between rocks. Zen spots some leafy sea dragons floating effortlessly back and forth in rhythm with the ocean's current. With their long floaty legs, they look like pieces of green seaweed. Zen calls out a happy hello and gets a couple of cheerful greetings in return. A leafy arm waves at him, too. Zen continues on his way, gliding effortlessly through the ocean, feeling ever so tranquil and calm. Out of nowhere, a young seahorse rushes past the little puffer fish. Zen stops to see where she is going and wonders why she's in such a rush to get there. A seahorse races through the water and goes over a peach-coloured coral reef. When she gets to the end of the coral, she twirls around and hastens back to her starting position, whereupon she spins around and looks like she's going to start moving quickly over the coral all over again. The seahorse sees Zen and says hello. She says she can't stop to talk because she has to keep swimming back and forth over the coral reef. When Zen asks why she's doing that, the seahorse blinks in confusion and says, I'm not really sure. I saw the other seahorses racing over this coral earlier and I thought I should do it too. I wonder if it's something seahorses are supposed to do. Zen says, Do you want to rush back and forth like the other seahorses? The small seahorse shakes her head and says, She prefers going slowly because she likes to see the different colours in the coral and she can't see them clearly when she's rushing over them. And she likes looking at the tiny flowers in the coral, too. Zen smiles gently at the young seahorse and says she doesn't have to do something just because others are doing it. And if she wants to slow down, then she should. The little seahorse smiles and says she would like to slow down. She asks Zen if he would like to swim over the coral with her. Zen says he would love to. The peaceful pufferfish and the smiling seahorse swim slowly over the peach-coloured coral bed. They see flashes of bright purple and red as tiny fish dart in and out of the coral. Long patches of seagrass sprout out from gaps in the rock and sway gently from side to side. A couple of clownfish snuggle down in the swaying grass and close their eyes, ready for a nap. As they swim along, they notice the different colours of the coral. The light peach changes to dark pink, and from pink to a delicate shade of green. The sun's rays dance across the coral, making it glimmer and shimmer. 
The seahorse asks Zen what he's been doing that day. With a relaxed smile, Zen replies, Oh, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. Nothing very much. I have done my meditation exercise, of course. The seahorse looks confused and asks what a meditation exercise is. Zen explains his practice and tells the seahorse how taking deep breaths makes him feel peaceful and relaxed. He tells the seahorse to give it a try. The seahorse isn't sure breathing deeply will make any difference to her, but she decides to give it a try anyway. She watches Zen carefully as he shows her what to do. Then, the seahorse practices taking some slow, deep breaths in and out. Within a few minutes, she feels better. She smiles happily at Zen and carries on taking more deep breaths until she feels completely relaxed. The seahorse says, I feel so very calm now and a bit tired too. How many times should I do this meditating exercise? Oh, as often as you like, Zen replies. I practice my deep breathing several times a day and always at night time when I'm getting ready for sleep. The seahorse nods and says she'll do that too. She yawns and blinks tiredly. She tells Zen she's going to head home and have a little rest. She bobs gently in the water and then goes on her way. Zen continues swimming through the water. Ahead of him, he sees a dancing dolphin who's twirling around happily in the sunbeam that's slanting through the water. The dolphin is one of Zen's closest friends, and he knows how much she loves dancing. She loves singing, too, and as Zen swims closer to her, she says hello and asks if he would like to hear her new song. Zen says he would love that. He settles down on the sandy floor of the ocean and waits for the dolphin to start singing. The dolphin starts her performance with two twirls and a shimmy to the side. Then she begins to sing. Her voice is light and carefree, and it fills the pufferfish's heart with warmth. The dolphin sings a lovely song about a friendly mermaid who lives in a sunken castle and wears a comb made out of pearls. One day, the mermaid loses her pearl comb and sets off to find it. She meets kind-hearted sea animals on her journey who help her look for the comb. They soon find it, and the mermaid invites them back to her castle for a party. She's glad to have her pearl comb back, but realises the new friends she made along the way are far more precious. The heartwarming song makes Zen smile, and when the dolphin finishes her song, he says she is a wonderful singer, and listening to her song has made his day extra special. The dolphin thanks him for his kind words and says she loves writing new songs. And if he has time, perhaps he can stop by again tomorrow to listen to another one. Zen says he will always have time to listen to her songs. They say goodbye and Zen carries on swimming through the water. Groups of rainbow-coloured fish go swimming by him. They are followed by a couple of chatting jellyfish. Zen notices a large crab standing on the sandy ocean floor. 
The crab is snapping his claws and doesn't look at all happy. Zen has met the crab many times before, and he's usually one of the happiest animals in the ocean. Zen knows something must be bothering his friend, and he swims towards the crab and asks if something is wrong. The crab frowns and clicks his claws. He says, I'm in a bad mood and I can't stop snapping my claws. He clicks and clacks his claws. See, I can't stop being snappy. I don't even know why I'm in a bad mood. I just am. And I don't know how to get out of it. Zen nods and says he understands because sometimes he's in a bad mood too. He told the crab the best way to stop feeling that way was to think about something happy instead. The crab snaps his claws and says he doesn't have anything happy to think about. He scrunches up his face and looks grumpy. Zen gently says there must be something for him to feel happy about. Zen thinks for a moment and then asks the crab what his favourite colour is. The crab considers the question and begins to smile a little. He tells Zen his favourite colour is orange and he loves seeing the bright orange stripes on the clownfish as they swim past him. The crab says he also likes the shimmering colours of the sea turtle's shells and loves how gracefully the turtles move through the water. He lowers his claws and chuckles. He tells Zen how a kind sea turtle once gave him a lift through the ocean and took him all the way over to an island that was covered in tall, swaying palm trees. And when they got to the island, the sea turtle and the crab explored it and found a beautiful lagoon inside a crystal cave. Later on, they rested beneath the shade of a palm tree and listened to the tropical birds singing from the branches. They stayed for a while and watched the sunset together. The crab sighs happily and says that day had been a very special one. He smiles softly as more happy thoughts come to him. The crab tells Zen about the other animals in the ocean who have been kind to him and the adventures they've had together. Talking about his friends makes the crab smile more and more and seeing the crab so happy makes Zen smile too. The cheerful crab stands up and says he feels much, much better and is in a very good mood now. He thanks Zen for his help and goes on his way, dancing from side to side across the sand. Zen watches the crab walk away and thinks about the wonderful things that he's got in his life, his lovely family and his kind friends, and those friends he had yet to meet. The never-ending blue waters of the vast ocean. Watching the sunlight slanting through the water and lighting up the beautiful colours in the coral reefs. The soothing, soft sound the water makes as it moves back and forth. Being surrounded by so many different kinds of animals. Thinking about the lovely things makes Zen smile even more and he feels very lucky. He carries on swimming 
and takes in the wondrous sights that surround him. Fish in all colours and shapes go by. Some call out a hello to him, and others wave their tails in a fish-like greeting. Zen sees two fish swimming along together. One is large, round, and flecked with golden spots. The other one is long, thin, and bright red. They're chatting easily with each other, in the way that best friends do. Some goldfish drift effortlessly through the water, happy to let the current take them wherever it wants to go. Tiny angelfish hide in the fronds of tall seagrass as they play hide and seek with their friends. A row of oysters nestled in between rocks open and close their shells, revealing shiny pearls inside. A large blue whale comes into view and lets out a deep, soothing noise as she swims along. All the sea animals move to one side to let the whale through. She says thank you and smiles regally as she gracefully glides by. Zen sees pieces of driftwood resting on top of rocks and notices the wood has already become home to a family of clams. The little pufferfish looks up towards the surface of the ocean and sees the bottom of a ship gliding through the water. It's as huge as the blue whale and looks just as majestic as it sails along. Zen sees a group of lobsters who are making music by blowing on conch shells. They create a low sound that carries through the water like a lullaby. An octopus hears the tune and waves her eight legs gently around in a slow dance. Her octopus friends join her and soon there's a whole collection of waving legs beneath Zen as the octopuses dance across the golden sand. The last of the sun's rays slowly disappear from the water and the ocean begins to grow dark. Nighttime is approaching. Zen yawns. He's nearly ready for his sleep. The little pufferfish has many places he likes to sleep at night and one of his favourites is a cosy cave that is hidden behind some rocks. The cave isn't far away, so Zen changes direction and swims towards it. The ocean grows steadily darker, and all around him, the sea animals get ready to settle down for the night too. They call out good nights to each other, and head to their homes. Zen swims on and is joined by some special fish who have lights on their heads. They ask Zen where he's going and if he needs their light along his journey. Zen says he would like that very much and thanks the kind fish. Starfish join the little group of travelers the reflected light from the special glowing fish shines on the starfish and makes them twinkle like stars in the sky. Some of the fish start to sing a soothing lullaby. Zen swims along with his friends and they soon arrive at the cozy cave. 
starfish wave goodbye and swim away. The special light-up fish stay at Zen's side and they go into the cave together. There are a couple of small rocks at the far side of the cave which are perfect for a tired little puffer fish to snuggle into. Zen swims over to the rocks and snuggles down into them. He says thank you to the fish. They tell Zen they'll stay with him until he falls asleep. The little puffer fish starts to take some deep, relaxing breaths. He becomes more and more relaxed with each breath he takes. He closes his tired eyes and lets out a long, happy sigh. He's had a wonderful day, swimming slowly through the ocean and has seen lots of his friends. He thinks about his kind friends and becomes sleepier and sleepier. He smiles as he remembers swimming very closely over the sparkling coral with the little smiling seahorse. Seeing the leafy sea dragons drifting effortlessly through the ocean. Listening to the dancing dolphin song about the mermaid who not only found her lost pearl comb, but found new friends too. And the crab, who told Zen about his enchanting journey to a tropical island with a kind-hearted sea turtle, and how they watched the sunset together. Very soon, Zen the puffer fish falls fast asleep, a smile on his little face, a special glowing fish which switch off their light and swim soundlessly out of the cave, leaving the puffer fish his dreams.